Phishing email alerts are one of the most common for most of the stock environments. Typically, we have an email box which is meant to receive any suspicious uh, email. So the um, employees would forward um, an email that they suspect to be malicious to this uh, mailbox. And then we have Fortisor, which would fetch this email and analyze it to determine whether this is a, um, a phishing email or a genuine one. So now we'll see a scenario where uh, we'll do just that. So we have this phishing email scenario. Uh, and in the description, uh, we have the different steps that the, uh, the scenario uh, performs and the alert which the scenario will, um, will perform or will generate. Uh, now we go to, we can select the, um, um, the scenario and run it right from here. We go to alerts and we should see the scenario, uh, we should see the alert popping up in the uh, alert module. Good. Um, now when the uh, email is fetched, Fortisor will parse the email and extract all the uh, relevant information. So uh, from the email view itself, we can see the uh, forwarded email uh, body. So uh, the person who forwarded the email put uh, this few words to explain the concern about this uh, uh, specific uh, email. Um, we can see here the uh, email headers uh, uh, completely with the, all the entries of, of the header. And we have a summary of the header here. So we can see the sender, uh, we can see the recipient, we can see what was the, um, what was the uh, subject, the uh, domain, the return path, uh, etc. And we have even the body of the email uh, itself. Right, so we can see here a, uh, a URL, which was sent as part of the body of the email. All the indicators uh, have been extracted. So we have uh, the URL that we just saw here. We have all the various uh, email addresses and hosts that are part of uh, this particular, particular message. Now, uh, to help us uh, investigate this alert, we have a playbook. So we can click on investigate suspicious email playbook will be executed and the investigation will find a malicious URL within the body of the email. Therefore, the playbook will ask the analyst to go ahead and block the malicious indicator. So we click on yes. The playbook expects the uh, analyst to have uh, block the, um, the malicious indicator on the uh, security uh, infrastructure. Well, typically a, um, a proxy or um, a next generation firewall. Once this has been done, uh, we can click on block completed. So the indicator stages will be marked as blocked. All right. We can at this point review um, the different steps that were performed uh, during the uh, investigation. So uh, we have first the email uh, being uh, parsed and uh, the various attributes uh, being extracted. We have a summary of the email attributes here. So uh, we have the reporter, which is a reporter at example.com. We have the sender, the recipient, the subject, and the, re the return path. We have a spoofing analysis that was done automatically. So the uh, sender email and the return path have been compared and they are not the same. As we can see here, there are two R in CyberSponse. Therefore, the uh, alert has been tagged as phishing, uh, sorry, as um, spoofing. The other thing is uh, the existence, uh, the playbook found a blacklisted word, in this case, Bitcoin. Uh, which is another uh, indication that this is a um, uh, this is a, um, a phishing email. Uh, therefore, uh, after prompting the um, blocking of the um, of the malicious indicator, 
we can see here that the uh, status has been set to uh, blocked and uh, based on all this evidence the uh, email has been tagged uh, with the phishing tag as you can see right here now um, probably uh, one of the uh, things we can show in um, in Fortisor is how easy it is to add uh, and modify existing workflows, existing playbooks. One of the uh, tasks that we can perform here is to in notify the sender, the reporter, to notify the reporter that uh, the email was found, uh, was found malicious. Therefore, the reporter has to delete it uh, from the from the mailbox. If um, this is of course in the case where Fortisor is not directly connected to Exchange and cannot do uh, cannot perform the task uh, automatically. So let's check the playbook, uh, which was uh, executed to perform the analysis. We just remove the system uh, tag to see all the playbooks. Uh, this is uh, the, the uh, investigation uh, playbook and at this point, as you can see here, we have the manual uh, input uh, which asks for uh, to block the uh, malicious uh, indicator and at this point uh, we uh, perform the, um, at this point the analysis is, um, is uh, completed and the final tag, the uh, phishing, phishing tag has been added. So let's edit the playbook and we can add this tab uh, right here after uh, it, either uh, it doesn't really matter whether the analyst has uh, blocked the uh, indicator or not because it doesn't change the fact that the email is, uh, is found to be uh, malicious. So we'll add one step here which will be executed either ways. Uh, we select send email. We call it, uh, for example, uh, notify uh, email reporter. We select the action to send email. The recipient in our case is the reporter. So we can find it as a, a field of the, um, as a field of the uh, alert module we need to have a subject. So typically we can say uh, verdict for the email and then we can use the uh, email subject that the uh, reporter has uh, reported. So we go to uh, email subject, right? And then we have to write a body uh, to notify the user. So, for example, we can say the email with the subject above has been found malicious. Please delete it from your mailbox. All right? You can add maybe a signature SOC. And that's pretty much all. We save, we save the playbook, and the next time the playbook will run, it will execute this step and send the notification back to the sender.